Long before Mr. Beast was making money with Squid Game stunts, he was Jimmy Donaldson, a regular kid who wanted nothing more than to become a successful YouTuber. I better have a million subscribers when you guys see this. These days, Mr. Beast has a mind-boggling amount of subscribers on YouTube. More than 146 million people subscribe to his channel, and a video breaking 100 million views is a regular occurrence. It was on the basis of Mr. Beast's incredible following that he signed with the management company Night Media back in 2019, according to Business Wire. Things weren't always this way. Mr. Beast got his start the same way many other prominent YouTubers did. He posted his first video in 2012 when he was just 13 years old. Back then, he posted under the name MrBeast6000, and his content focused heavily on the game Minecraft, as one might expect from a kid his age. After almost a decade of tweaking his content and gaming the algorithm, MrBeast is now one of the best-known YouTubers on the entire platform. Even the oldest video on his channel has nearly 10 million views. Not bad for a kid showing off one of the worst Minecraft traps ever built. It might not be the commonly recommended path to success, but there are countless stories of people creating great careers for themselves after dropping out of school. Mr. Beast grew up in Greenville, North Carolina, and in 2016, he graduated from the private high school Greenville Christian Academy, according to Business North Carolina. After that, his academic career was short-lived. For me, I, I hate, I hate school. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. According to Mr. Beast himself, he enrolled in college after high school, but he only attended classes for two weeks. He dropped out of school and told his mom, I'd rather be poor than do anything besides YouTube. His mom apparently wasn't elated by the news. In a Twitter thread, Mr. Beast explained that she forced him to move out because she, quote, loves me and just wanted me to be successful. Considering that when Mr. Beast decided to leave school, he had under a million subscribers, it's not hard to see why his mother didn't think YouTube was a viable career option. However, as Mr. Beast once said, things change quick on YouTube, and a year after dropping out, he broke a million subscribers. And now he's well on his way to becoming the most subscribed to YouTuber. He's made enough money from creating content that he was even able to give his mom $100,000. Not bad for a college dropout. No, Jimmy. Yeah, y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> Mr. Beast didn't have a viral video until it'd been on YouTube for five years. Its first massive video, I counted to 100,000, was uploaded on January 8th, 2017. Counting to 100,000 was Mr. Beast's first big challenge video, and creating it certainly tested his stamina, not to mention the patience of anyone trying to watch the entire video. The counting took more than 40 hours, so to be able to upload it to YouTube, Mr. Beast had to speed up certain segments to make it just 24 hours long. In the first five days of the video was on YouTube, it pulled in over 5 million views. The video finally brought Mr. Beast mainstream attention, and the views kept pouring in. Over six years later, the video is still regularly receiving new comments and has garnered over 26 million views, though it's anyone's guess how many of those viewers actually sat around to watch the whole video. Would you be mad if she quit for a hundred grand? Not at all. Are you serious? I'm your favorite employee. I would quit. It wasn't long after realizing that people loved watching bizarre stunts that Mr. Beast found his next hit niche. He began finding creative ways to give away money. Sometimes that meant giving small amounts of cash to random Twitch users, and at other times it meant giving away $10,000 to homeless people in his city. Yeah, hopefully it makes a difference. He even once gave a waitress enough money to make her quit her job. Most of the money Mr. Beast gave away came from brand deals, but by 2018 he donated over a million dollars and earned himself the title YouTube's biggest philanthropist. Mr. Beast's giveaway videos managed to do some good in the world while also massively boosting his following on YouTube. The more money Mr. Beast gave away, the more people showed up to his channel. YouTube's biggest philanthropist has not gotten by without his share of controversies. Just as Mr. B's following was growing exponentially, The Atlantic dug into his Twitter accounts and found some unsavory statements made by the influencer. Most of Mr. B's offensive comments used gay slurs or made homosexuality into a punchline. He repeatedly called users gay slurs in his replies, and in 2018, his Twitter bio read, Just because I'm gay doesn't mean I'm gay. The Atlantic also called out a video titled, Giving $10,000 to comments on this video in which Mr. Beast wore a shirt which read, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. When Mr. Beast was asked to address his comments, he appeared to dodge the issue. He said, I'm not offensive in the slightest bit in anything I do. I'm just going to ignore it. I don't think anyone cares about this stuff. In spite of what he told The Atlantic, Mr. Beast went on to remove all of his homophobic tweets, and he marked the video they criticized private on YouTube. From that, it seems that Mr. Beast understood how he could have offended people and has made some genuine efforts to improve his speech online. 
online. According to the New York Times in 2021, a spokesperson for Mr. Beast pointed to the fact that he was a teenager when the offensive content was posted and said that Mr. Beast, quote, has grown up and matured into someone that doesn't speak like that. In May 2021, the New York Times published a piece on Mr. Beast which broke open a new controversy surrounding his treatment of his employees. To manage his booming channel, Mr. Beast hired about 50 employees and moved his various companies into a warehouse to give everyone room to work. While plenty of people flocked to the companies for work, not everyone had a good experience being a part of the team. Matt Turner, who worked for Mr. Beast for well over a year, said that he was berated by his boss on a daily basis. In addition to the verbal abuse, Turner explained explained, I was not to be credited for anything I did. I'd ask for credit, it credits someone else. Nate Anderson, another Mr. Beast employee, uploaded a video to YouTube titled, My Experience Editing for Mr. Beast, Worst Week of My Life. The video garnered Anderson so many hateful comments and death threats from Mr. Beast fans that he's since removed it. It's worth noting that not all Mr. Beast employees told the Times that working with the influencer was a negative experience. Writer Josh Hyman said the team felt, quote, like family, adding, everyone employed there was a friend of a friend. 